New Pomo, popularly known as Tosca and Manguase, are communities one would find just before the Akosombo township. Combine, on the other hand, is located on the outskirts of Akosombo. One would think that their proximity to the main source of electricity in Ghana would mean that they would have free flow of electricity into their homes without any challenges. But certain users' visit to these communities revealed that they have been complaining to authorities of the Volta River Authority, VRA, for years over what they describe as overbilling. Rose, a resident, used to sell fish to community members some years back to support her family. She relied heavily on electricity for her business as her two deep freezers stored her fish for her daily trade. She shares with me how the constant overbilling has crippled her business. We caught them, Ecofanum, Ebeton, Okanunay, my business. Okay. And the Amusisa Mitano, a man Beniba, everywhere two million. Three million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Tama, um, I'm Tama, I say Juma Ben Potten. I'm Juma Namiano, Michi Coliko. I think Mrs. Sinto War, and a Pamaka day, somebody come at Tacotom. At the Anamni, dear Majai, Ben Uba Mintimi, I see Miss Caninina. Timitimi, Tima Pagnin, as a Maduno. How many years ago, Nina, we doom bill, no? We doom a way of freezes, no? But three years, Nina, Dabby. Eh, three, two years. Eh, my father said, two years, Muna, I write you, Rano. Seth, a resident of Combine, whose business has also been affected, says another change in the postpaid meters would only be fair to them as taxpayers. We're having the former meter whereby we pay averaging around 50 CD to 100 CD, depending on what we are using. All of a sudden, the meter has been changed and our bills has doubled, or I would say it has tripled because we are paying more than we used to pay. Mm -hmm. And our concern has been raised to the authorities. We did our possible best, even involving so many opinion letters to help us resolve the atrocious bills they are giving us, but it has yielded nothing. Even we are fighting. We are fighting that if it indeed we are not happy about what we are seeing, because it's authorities and institutions, we, we are not trying to tarnish their image. But honestly, if they want us to have a fair deal, then they should change the new meter they have given to us. Because honestly, the meter is not doing a favor to us at all. Okay. And I am, I'm a resident in Akosuma, the center in Tema, because I work in Tema. Okay. I have a prepaid user in Tema. Mm -hmm. the, money, the money I pay there and the items I use in Tema, compared to Akosumu, the gap is too big. Another resident of Combine, Madame Rose, who has lived here for 20 years, tells City News, the last three years have been very difficult for her as the exorbitant electricity bills have left her stranded. Dadanu, Busuma, ni etia three city. Three city. Ah, okay. Let me walk free it. Me walk fun. No, you soon ni nana na. Me you soon ni nana. Me you soon sani amani nana. Oh, best is sayenu. Be bakunu kwa yechu. She dey ba first nu. Omu si sayenu. Yet eh ma eh bill nu ba three million. What yana? And till ye di ko omu freye ye di ko sanu mini babya mini atu. Enu di mi fani se ayira. And till asamu nu di bebre. You say mu ahanu maya brewa. Juma kenke juma we ane mi ye. Ne mi di tu a bebe 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 we. And till mi tanu se be ya. We are on share your mobile. No musi sa mi tanu ma ye. Uh -huh. The frustrated residents have written a series of petitions to the VRA authorities to seek for help. A response from the presidency to one of the petitions in 2017 reads, We are in receipt of your respondents received on 18th May 2016 and the attached letters issued to the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission and Ministry for Power dating back to July 19, 2016. Per your letter dated 3rd November 2016 to the Ministry of Power, it is noted that the PRC during a visit to your community on 20th September 2016 established that the installed electricity meters had not been properly calibrated. In order to rectify the situation, please be informed that the Chief Director of VRA, Mr. Emmanuel Inchidakwa, has been directed to investigate the matter and effect a change of meter for those residents that have been issued with non-calibrated meters. Please accept the President's best wishes. But after this response, nothing has been done to rectify the supposed anomaly. A couple of petitions followed later.
with the recent one forwarded to the VRA on May 7, 2019. Wolanyo is a member of the new combined committee. He says after a fire incident destroyed his meter, a new one, different from what other community members are using, was fixed in his residence. He says his bills have since reduced drastically. This, he believes, confirms the claims of other community members that they are being overbilled because of their meters. Knocking for me enough, somewhere October last year, uh, uh, my meter got burned by fire and uh, the meter was changed to a different product. Bills that have been paying between 200 300 has dropped to 1890, which I can show the bills to you as I'm talking to you now. So about a month ago, we petitioned the energy minister and the PURC on this issue that they should come to our aid and help us. And no response came. So we re-petitioned them about two weeks ago. And I hope uh, the PRC will not sit down either. So for the people of Combine, at Tosca and Mangua, say all they're asking for right now is for their meters to be changed because these meters have done more harm than good to them. In fact, businesses have also been lost due to these new meters which bring out outrageous bills into their homes. For City News, my name is Mina W.